I have another product from the Fire Maple Antarctic line of bushcraft pots and pans that I want to share with you today. This is their Duo. If you're interested in hearing more about this, keep watching. All right, just before we begin, I'd like to thank Fire Maple for sending me the Duo so that I could share it with you. Do you know, when Fire Maple offered to send this to me, I was immediately struck by the resemblance it had to another more well-known product made by another company, GSI, in their Glacier lineup, which is their Stainless Steel Duelist. So when it arrived, I started to do some comparisons, and I think you'll find that they share an awful lot in common in terms of their construction and their accessories big difference is this is about half the price of the Duelist. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I will open the setup. I'll show you everything that comes inside of it. At the same time, I'll be giving you some close-ups as well as the specifications for this unit and talk about my experiences with it. So when the Fire Maple Duelist arrives, it does come in this nice little nylon sack like all of their products do. Let's take it out. So everything you need to cook a meal is contained within the unit itself, and I'll explain and demonstrate everything. But let's go over the specifications for this unit, and then I'll show you its key features and each of the accessories that it comes with. Now, I will be working off some notes here so to make sure that I'm accurate in what I give you. But right off the top, obviously, made from stainless steel. And that's why it is included in their Antarctic line of bushcraft pots and pans. But this one is not designed for being used over a fire. Now, having said that, I think we'll talk more about that because I think you can use it over fire, either by changing out the lid or by using a very small stove, but we'll talk more about that in a minute. All right, so stainless steel, the lid is made of Triton, as are the bowls and spoons I'll show you in a minute. Triton being a food grade, BPA free plastic and high quality used by quite a few manufacturers now. It also has some silicone, obviously the tubing on the handle and the little knob, uh, grab knob on top of the lid. So let me give you the specifications for this. So without the gas canister and little stove that I have inside here, this unit would come in at one pound 2.3 ounces, which is 519 grams. The height is 4.75 inches, top to bottom, which is 14.5 centimeters. And the diameter is 4.75 inches or 12 centimeters. And I just want to point out that is on the inside of this roll rim, not on the outside, so it adds another millimeter or two. And the reason I measure it that way is because of the lid itself, and I'll explain what I mean in a moment. All right, so let's talk about a few of its key features. Right off of the top, it has a folding handle, which you squeeze to loosen up, fold it over, and sometimes, because it's new, I have to give it a little bit of a manipulation for it to lock into place to make sure it doesn't uh, collapse on me when I go to pour from it. The lid itself, and let me just focus in on the lid for a moment, is exactly, and I mean exactly, 12 centimeters on the inside of this lid. Again, I'll tell you why I'm measuring it that way in a moment. But what's nice about this lid, besides the fact that you can see through it to see what, how your contents are doing, is because it has a, this silicone lift knob. Not only does it make it easy to lift off when it gets very hot inside, but as you'll see, or as you'll know, if you go to pour from a pot, quite often the lid wants to fall off. So it's really nice that you can put your fingers on the silicone while you pour through the strain holes. And that's the reason why you would hold the lid on while you're pouring is because there are strain holes in this lid. So nice lid. Only issue I'm having with it now because this is in the bushcraft line of items is I'm a little afraid that if this is exposed to open flame that it will be damaged, which of course is likely to happen. I just haven't tried it yet to see if the flames will reach it. I think it's a matter of what kind of fire you put it on. If it's a small wood stove, I think the, the risk is minimal. But with a large open fire, I don't think that is a recommended idea. And I'll talk more about that again in a moment. So I'm going to show you what is inside. Now, I have it paired up with a very small stove. This is one of the micro stoves. This is made by Bolin. It is not one from Fire Maple. They do sell one just like this, but it's uh, the reason I chose this one today is because of its size. It is just that small, and it goes in nice. Having said that, as you can see, there's a fair amount of room in the top here, so you may have a stove in your collection that will fit in here uh, with everything else. Maybe uh, you'll carry it separately. I did bring another stove 
stove with me today to cook with so that but it wouldn't fit inside of the top so there are two sporks let me show you the sporks for a second how they work and you'll notice they come in two colors there's a green and a gray and that is for a reason now the sporks are very simple they're fold over and then you push them together and they're they're a good size um, it's a spork I'm not a fan of sporks to be honest but as far as sporks go ones that are convenient to use packed down well these seem to be of good quality likely I wouldn't use these very often I am going to be using them for my meal today but uh, and I guess the reason why I'm not a fan of a spork is because it's neither a fork nor a spoon it kind of is a compromise to save weight and it doesn't do either of them justice but as you can see they're functional and they're very similar to the ones that come with GSI so there are two of those inside are two bowls first first of the two bowls also in that light green color I'll talk about them in a minute another item and take out the gas canister and the second of the bowls this one obviously in gray to match and I'll give you the specifications on these bowls as far as uh, ratings capacities the entire capacity of the pot itself is rated at 40.5 ounces, which is 1.2 liters. They do say it has a maximum capacity of 54 ounces or 1.6 liters. Let me just show you. There are graduations down the side, very handy, very easy, actually a little easier to read from the inside if you're looking at them. And uh, there's the 1.2 liter mark right here. So you can, you do see that you can get more in it but I think I would keep it at the functional capacity of 1.2 liters. And that's plenty for most of everything you're likely going to be doing with this. Uh, taking it right up to the top risks boil over, so it's, it's not probably necessary. 1.2 liters is just fine. All right, each of these bowls are rated at 15.2 ounces, which is 450 milliliters, so just short of two cups can fit in there. You know, they don't look all that uh, big. Uh, you know, a good sized meal? Uh, maybe not. Maybe <laughs> you might have to put two servings in, which is likely what I'm going to do today. But uh, it's still a good sized bowl, nice straight sided bowls. And as you saw, they fit inside of the, the uh, pot itself just perfectly. Okay, so let's put those aside. Now, I did bring out uh, an eight ounce gas cylinder because as you saw, inside of the pot itself, these things fit in just perfectly. You could use a smaller one. You could probably fit in the larger canister, but you're not going to get everything else inside. But this is actually a perfect fit for an eight ounce canister. And uh, the one other thing that came with this, which is kind of cool, is a pot stand. So this is the type of thing you would put your, or not pot stand, canister stand. So it opens up, locks into place, and then you're canister it'll take either the four ounce or the eight ounce canister will lock in like that and you can set it on the ground and you have more stability especially if you're using a small stove like the one I brought with me today which doesn't have a very large diameter and of course a taller pot means you're you have some risk of of spilling everything over so having this to stabilize everything is a great great advantage so it's nice that they included that as well all right just one more thing i want to mention is uh, i talked about the lid a couple of times and my concern about using this over an open fire since it is part of their antarctic line which is their bushcraft line of pots and pans and I don't know this for sure. I don't know that I want to risk trying this, but if you take a close look, the lid is actually slightly in from the edge of the, 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 sto the pot itself. So it may not be damaged by flame. Having said that, I'm still not going to put it in a large open fire. Likely, I would put this over a small wood stove, like maybe the Firebox Nano or something else, you know, similar inside, where the flames is going to mostly going to come in contact with the bottom. Some of it might come up the sides, but not likely to reach the very top. However, what would have been nice is if there was an alternative to using this plastic lid. And I have been scouring the thrift stores to see if I can find something that was separated from its pot that would have exactly a 12 centimeter diameter and uh, would work for this. Now, I haven't found anything yet in the thrift stores, but I had two things in my collection which work 
perfectly, believe it or not. One is the lid from the 12 centimeter zebra. It fits on and it fits identical to the 12, minute, uh, 12 centimeter zebra in that there's a little bit of play in the top, just like there is on the zebra pot. So if you happen to have a spare lid or you want to take the set out and leave your 12 centimeter zebra at home, then you could always bring that lid if your plan is to put it in a fire. The other thing I found is off an item that I recently reviewed also from Fire Maple. This is the lid off of the bush pot, the 1.2 centimeter bush pot that has the locking clips on the side. Guess what? It also fits. Maybe a millimeter loose, but it doesn't drop out. It's very stable on top. And those clips will lock onto this one as well. So if you're looking to lock a lid on, then you have that. What would have been nice is this, if this was the style of lid that came with this set from the start. Uh, but don't get me wrong, I like the Triton lid. I like it for all the reasons I mentioned already. But whereas I like to put my pots in the fire, knowing that I have a stainless steel lid gives me the confidence that I'm not going to damage the lid. There's still the silicone around the handle to worry about, but if that wears off or gets burnt off, that doesn't change the functionality of the pot at all. And yes, of course, if you're wondering, this will still, once I collapse it a little bit, still reach up over the top and lock everything into place just like it did with the other lid. As soon as I get it, uh, yeah, there we go. So it works just like the other one. Uh, I say this because I'm hoping Fire Maple will pick up on it. Maybe they'll either change out the lid or maybe they'll make one optional that if you want to purchase one to go with it you can. All right a few closing thoughts on the duo from Fire Maple from their Antarctic line of bushcraft pots and pans. I guess what I like most about this is that it's a complete system. Everything I need is included here. I get not only the pot but I get the bowls, the sporks, the gas canister stand. Uh, yeah everything with room for the stove and I didn't throw my Bic lighter in. It's in my uh, fire kit but a Bic lighter could have gone in here and maybe a few other things could go in there as well. So it's nice to have everything contained inside of one pot like this. Now I also like the fact that it is made from stainless steel and being made from stainless steel I have the confidence that it is a good durable product. It might be a bit heavier than the anodized aluminum pots and pans but at least is uh, a good durable. Not to say the others aren't but but you know that if you drop this, you're not going to damage it in a way that it can't be used. It also means it's something I could use over an open fire. You can't do that with the gas canister stoves with the heat exchangers at the bottom, but this you could. Provided, of course, you don't either damage the top or you sub it out for something made of metal. And I'm still going to look to see if I can find something permanent for that purposes. So I have used this a fair amount for cooking, but not over an open fire. You can see it's perfectly clean. And I've made some good sized meals in it. And I've done simple things like hard boiled eggs, but I used it for making my coffee this morning while I was out here. So it will do everything you want and probably more. Now, I'm, in a few moments time, I'm going to be cooking up a full size meal in this so watch for that in a future video and it's a meal that would feed at least two people so it's nice to know that this has the capacity to do that hence the name duo hence the two pots two sparks okay now the other thing I want to mention is the and in the opening of the video I compared this with the GSI stainless steel duelist and hence obviously the inspiration we'll say for this and the fact that this is so much less expensive than the GSI version is. Now the one thing the GSI version has that this one doesn't is it does have a stainless steel on top. So yeah I just point that out. Now I will put the information for this product and I'll give you the comparison information for the GSI product in the video description if you want to take a look back and forth. For my money uh, at half the price or nearly half the price, this makes a better product to purchase because everything else, minus the fact that this has the Triton top and not stainless steel, everything else is almost identical. Okay, as I mentioned, I'll put all the information for this product in the video description below. I'd ask if you have any comments or question on this product, please put those in the comments section below. But get out and explore and take that path less traveled because it will make all the difference. Bye for now.